Hi guys, I wanted to show you today an ice cream sandwich ROM uh, which is Android 4.0 for the HTC Desire S. This ROM is tweaked and designed, if you like, by Virtuous. Um, they're a well-known ROM developer in the HTC land <laughs> um, and I believe it's only HTC devices they do but they're a well-known developer, they support the ROMs etc etc. This ROM is called Virtuous Quattro RC1, is no longer a beta ice cream sandwich ROM, ROM sorry. and that is because the camera now works, uh, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So basically, what can I say, this ROM is available also on the HTC Desire HD, the HTC Desire Z, and the HTC Incredible S, but I am running it on the HTC Desire S. So, we'll start with a lock screen. As you can see, common ice cream sandwich lock screen, jump straight into the camera, or we can unlock. That's normal. Right, then we start to get into the tweaks. This all looks normal, the notification bar for ice cream sandwich. Tap on this, and we have settings. Settings for numerous features. Actually, just before I talk about this, I just wanted to note I have just flashed this from. I've actually just logged in and downloaded one app for this uh, for this video. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, settings here are all developed by the ROM developer. Uh, this is not common on ice cream sandwich, but it's, uh, it's obviously a nice feature to have. Turn on the brightness per actually bit there. Okay, so we jump into the apps. As you can see, just by scrolling and that stuff, it's very fast. Jump into the market there. That's actually the app I've just downloaded. Um, everything's fast, you know, it's smooth, no lag. It's a very nice ROM, tweaked very nicely. I'll just show you its ice cream sandwich. I'm just going to about phone here, and as you can see, build number is 4.4.0.3 on the HTC Desire S. And there's all the good stuff. Uh, with this ROM you do get a couple of personalization options as you can see here. We get the Quattro control which gives us numerous functions on the UI, the as you can see lock screen, power options, power save, toggles which allow you to edit the toggles up here. Uh, so that's all good, I'm not going to go into that. And the performance which is your CPU performance basically, you can just change the speed and the governors, etc. And then we have the tre I think it's a trebuch trebuchet, yeah, <laughs> Treb however you pronounce that, I'm not going to try. Uh, it's the CM9 launcher and various options for editing their launcher. So that's basically Ice Cream Sandwich um, in a nutshell. Obviously, I don't know, I've got a message. Oh. I've got a message, read my messages there. <laughs> um, yeah, so one of the main things about this ROM that's new is the camera. The camera now works. Yay! So a lot of people will be using it as a daily ROM. Worth noting at the minute, that I don't think anyway, yep, the camera app itself doesn't work, but you can download a third party camera app like I did just now, just about five minutes ago, called LG Camera. I'll just show you how the camera works now with a third party app. Just load it up here. Okay, saying that I have the free version. <laughs> um, as you can see, the camera's working. I think, what are we on? Wrong video. Just swap that to the camera, take a picture. There we go. Took a picture of the calendar. <laughs> Disappears, see if we can get a flash on it there. Yep. Yeah. Camera is fully working. Try the video. Video capturing mode selected. Enable the flash on, and we will. Oh, we've got a record video failure. Hmm. <laughs> I haven't come across that before. Maybe if we stop the app and try again where are we? apps here we are just force close the app 
actually that's worth noting you did see the multitasking screen there just common ice cream sandwich multitasking screen right so this ROM doesn't seem to be able to record video <laughs> I must mention that on the forums um, but other than that obviously as you can see the camera is working if not a bit buggy but I'm sure once the um, stock camera app is up and rolling which probably be in the next couple of days if you're watching this video a couple of days after it's released it's probably already done you'll get a lot more features but as you can see I've just took these pictures with the third party camera app and that's basically it that is ice cream sandwich 4.0.3 on the HTC Desire S thanks for watching guys